probably extremely loud. Me but down to nine. I'm at least not peeking red anymore. So maybe that's better. Uh, let's see. Here you go here. I need to get hop into Discord. I need to now close Google since that opened Google. All right. Uh, obviously English. Ooh, it's very loud. I might have to turn this down as well. Oop. Oh. Well, while all this does this, give me a second to grab my phone. Is this? Press any button to begin. What about space bar? Well, there's a lot of talking. I am Carl. Carl Astana. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The, uh, the pies there were rather to my liking. I became startled when the man sitting. I didn't even get to read all that. <laughs> After seeing that there were other empty tables in the restaurant, I said this to the man. Excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Look, this seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, all right? Oh, I got a pick. We'll do that one. Without answering my question, the man continued to talk to himself. Well, look, so here you are. You're graduating soon, and clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have just the job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. Mysterious job. A wonderful one. Oh boy. I gotta try not to get tongue twisted. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> gotta I gotta have a gotta have a drink before I do this. You know that sounds like me. Mysterious and wonderful. Sounds interesting. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black with three letters printed out on one side. S C P Well, congratulations on joining that. Okay, <laughs> Honorable Carl Estana, congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you are the one we have been searching for. You will assume the position of Assistant Archivist in the Archive Department, Group 3, Director Chuck Ewer? Our? What? <laughs> we'll be your superior. Uh, we'll be your superior. My god, I can't speak at all today. Please go to the security office of Sector Sideways M on 8 th 13 2012 at 0900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. Personnel Department of Site 105 SCP Foundation. Secure, contain, protect. Okay. Ooh, it's night time and all the lights are off. This is spoopy. Oh, Jesus. And all them cells. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What are you doing over there, Cora? Taking a nap on all my jackets? I'll take a lint roller to them today, and then tomorrow. Get a Doctor Who telephone. What? So I just need to see how loud I am. Dude, Jesus, Cora. What'd you knock over? <laughs> oh, 
that one, that one's, that one's trying to get free. It looks like he's succeeding, honestly. Okay. I don't know about the uh, containing part. Looks like you're doing pretty bad. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much. This is a lot. Look around now. Oh, oh, why does it sound weird through here? Be right back. Okay, room nine fourteen. Oh my god. Damn, am I like all the way at the end of the hall? Yep. Practically. Oh, I gotta... That's a weird thing. That's kind of cool though. Can I shut the door? I'll just, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'll just work standing up. <laughs> yeah. That all looks right. <laughs> you will have access to classified and top secret, uh, top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation reg uh, Foundation regulations and guidelines. Okay. What? Oh, I can't move it. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Before you, before starting your work, please allow us to introduce you, introduce to you software used in the archive department. Okay. Each day your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there is a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Well, I got a friend's one, huh? Communication within the site's relay. Within the site relies primarily on the instant messaging system where information is processed using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to blinky red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing with the within the foundation. New employees must first participate in new employee training before they may begin work. This page shows public information of all sites around the world. You can view the information at any time. This concludes the introduction. We wish your, you success in your work. Oh. Huh? Man. <laughs> oh. Cool. You're not gonna send it? Oh. Oh. Well.
Yeah, you guys watched Rick and Morty last night. <laughs> Hey Rick, this one dude's just completely off topic. <laughs> but it's like, I don't want to talk about accidents either. Dude, it's like Rick and Morty just nudge. Huh? <laughs> oh god, Chuck's had it. Oh, uh oh, we're getting the sign stuff. Oh boy. I don't want no power. I don't want to do no paperwork. What do you want me to do then? to suck up. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Exactly. He's telling you to quit sucking up and do it yourself. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh god. Man. We're doing classes now. Oh yeah, I gotta hold on. I gotta make sure my phone is on do not disturb. So I don't get any like Jason random call. Oh. Is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now. Oh boy, are we playing Jason Carter now? Oh, you gotta put the hazmat suit on. Oh boy. That is a sound that I have. Oh, that's so loud. It's very loud. It's in my ears loud. Ow, Jesus Christ. D503 was given no clear instruction. <laughs> oh, I get it. 
objective. Collect the waste. Get off. You mean get out? Am I that close to it? Come on. Collect, collect it. You gotta collect the trash. Bro was given the clean the environment task. Uh, yeah, we'll go up here. Let's get on. Man, this truck can get it apparently. Q feels like such a weird thing. Why not just make it E again? I only got to get 40. But what if I collect it all? Oh! Truck is tilting. <laughs> it fixed. I mean, you say 100 kg, but what if I want to collect the whole amount? I want to see what happens if I collect it all. I'm going to try to collect it all. The game be like, no! And <laughs> just murder me? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that looks like a body. That's a pipe. <laughs> My bad, game. My bad. Do I get brownie points for collecting over the quota? Do I get extra time taken off of my sentence? Yo! Come on, why are you going so slow? I keep pressing, e. I keep pressing E to get out. There, we got double. How about that? Did you just drive up onto this? Okay. Well, that, make, that makes sense. Please pull down the lever to confirm incinerate. Alright. Oh my god, that's, that's a hard level. Uh, that lever's like, nah. That lever's just like, nah. What'd that do? This was D-503's first day of work. So just <laughs> mandates that D503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Why? <sighs> huh? <laughs> I know what you're doing this to me. <laughs> I'm bad at puzzles. Oh god. What? Am I doing this right? I just gotta go there, right? Please tell me it's not gonna get harder than that. <laughs> no!
Oh god. Well, let's start with this one. Nope. That looks good. Please tell more. Hey! Oh god. Hey, I'm number four! Look at that! I'm kinda smart. I'm number four on this. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Okay. Oh god. Oh, I, I got. Was that day 30? <laughs> Bro, if I could. <laughs> I just threw my burger. I just threw the burger on the fucking floor. And I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> my God. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Uh -oh. the foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. Jesus. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies. Oh boy. Various other phenomena beyond our control. That's a lot of anomalies. The foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Oh boy. Hello, Dr. Hem. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just Man. Just that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay. Oh no. Let's move on. Did poor man die? Come on. Oh, we go from day one to day eight. Was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. 
Oh man, I already forgot this man's name. Put on the suit. Grab the tracker. Come on. Or if I go out here and there's something right there wanting to eat me, I'm gonna be so mad. You know, maybe the desert's mad because of all y'all's loud alarms. You know, maybe it's like, bro, I'm trying to sleep and you're having these loud alarms constantly play. <sighs> Why is it dark? Also, why is the sand moving to the left? Come on, come on, come on, eat a bear, eat a bear, come on, come on. You're a truck, you can do this. Just an iron bucket. What, is it not going to give me enough weight or something? Or just gives me two pillows next? And the SCP's like, oh, you failed to get the 100 kg! <laughs> now I gotta eat you! Ah! Definitely can't be that. Broken air conditioner. Okay. Is the last one going to be a dead body? Just a skeleton? Come on, we... Come on. Come on, we got this. Is that a giant... Oh my god, what is that? This is probably a bad idea to collect, sir. A spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Alright, let's go toast it. Go make it all nice and toasty. Come on, do a trick. Do a trick. Come on. Yeah! Oh, you're supposed to jump it. You didn't jump it. I'm mad. I'm mad you didn't jump it. <laughs> Black spindle. Yep. Come on. Oh. Oh boy. Something gonna scream now? Cause it's getting roasted. Please take level two in the middle. Of it's like a three. Oh, the three pictures with a triangle. One, two, with a triangle. Huh? It's like three pictures. I, I ain't good at math. <laughs> what do you mean it's that? What is that? I suck at math. <laughs> oh, you know what? What? Five. Oh wait. Yep, I did it wrong. Cause it would be divide. You divide that three. That five by three. Especially if you go on the thing of Pim Das. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, don't throw my bur- Hey! Hey! No! I'm hungry! Where's my food? You threw my burger on the floor last time! Give me my food! You, you can't just make me go to sleep on an empty stomach! Fine. Screw y'all. I'm gonna purposely go stand in the desert tomorrow. They took my funk. They they took it away. Jesus. Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. Oh goodness. Water. Don't. Don't look in the water. That's a bad idea. Everyone knows you never stare into the abyss because it stare back. It stares back into you. <laughs> Is that a telephone? Like, what are those? My brain's trying to go. You know, if it were me, I'd step in and be like, why didn't you feed mans? I saw that. No, none of y'all fed him. Maybe that's why he's mad. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's all fluctuations. You didn't let him eat. Oh God, what happened? Oh God. You gonna feed him this time? Huh. What is that? <laughs> what am I coming up on? It's another spindle. Alright. Ah, my brain. 
Can you not do that? That looks weird. Alright. Go burn it. Come on. Let's do a trick. Do a trick. Ah, you didn't go hopping over the mountain. I'm mad. Let's go just super fast. <laughs> Handheld radar. See, what's with that moaning and groaning sound? But then he encountered an incident. What do you mean? A sandstorm. Huh? D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Why are there black lines? Oh. I'm gonna follow the black lines, I guess. I guess I'm going to that. Run! Run! Run a little faster! Get on all fours and crawl! <laughs> Get on all fours and prone run! Probably the best idea in this situation. <laughs> I actually you know what? I changed my mind. Probably the worst idea because of all that weird goopy goop stuff. You know, I probably shouldn't be walking in here. Come on. You got it. Oh, never mind. That's a big old flashbang. Oh, am I moving again? Why does it say lie? I don't want to lie. Oh, God. Uh oh. Well. Well, he did. <laughs> He's very dead. Ah, so loud. God, was it so loud? Uh, we got a flash of an eyeball. Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Oh, it's all fuzzy. Stop it. Can now be observed in D Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. They're in my head. Get out of my skin. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling. <laughs> Three was able 
to break away from the Foundation's control. He has seen the test results of other Level D personnel who were analyzed at SCP-7457. That's right. None of the Level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Oh. We're driving. Oh, let's go. We're just gonna drive straight, and I'm gonna just assume it's straight. <laughs> oh my god! All that trash. The further and further you go, the more and more you get. Don't stop at it. Well, he did. He definitely died. Oh. Huh? I'm assuming you're going to swipe. That we humans form only a small part of this world. Jesus. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Oh boy. Huh. Don't walk towards that. The wires are moving. <laughs> Don't walk towards that, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me he walked towards it. I don't want to walk towards it. What if I turn around and walk back? What if I just do that? What if I just turn around and pretend this never happened? See, why did you walk toward it, sir? This is where D five oh three's instincts led him. Well. So now he becomes a part of the trash. No, he did. <laughs> he just straight up became a part of the trash. Jesus, it's a lot of squares. When you work for the foundation, <laughs> you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear SCP 7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. 
Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces... I don't know about that. National security experts. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. SCP does not care how smart you are. How accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Bro, chill. Bro, chill. <laughs> chill. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. Chill out. <laughs> Put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Hey. That was fucked. <laughs> Please add your comments. What? Uh, the, no, the connection wasn't smooth. <laughs> uh, maybe a little. I don't know. Both started yelling at me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was punctual. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. <laughs> Don't really feel anything. Nope. What's going on over there? Yeah. I thought he was just going to auto send that, but no. Nope. Okay. For a second, I, th I, th I thought he was going to draw something very inappropriate, and I was going to laugh. Past hour has been torture. I don't know how the other managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know how I how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls. Jesus! Little over the top, don't you think? But it was also real. I can't even. I can even taste it in my mouth. The foul taste of the river water. But in any case, this the this is my first day. Uh, first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that make my stomach feel better. I didn't even get to pick my food or anything. <laughs> now, abnormal incident occurred within Site 13. All buildings within Site 13 disappeared in no, in no reason, and many corrupted, unknown buildings appeared out of nowhere. Part of these buildings were in fire. Were I feel like they should say? I think they should say on. I don't know, maybe in fire, who cares? In fire when ha when appearing hours later, the site was back to normal with blank personnel, including director missing SCP and SCP disappeared during this incident. Site 93 confirms the existence of multiverse using one of the anomalies at their disposal. This is a breakthrough that will definitely be useful in case of in case of K-class scenarios, unless the K-class scenario destroys the multiverse. Interesting fact, there could be another you reading this article right now. Say hello to your parallel self. Okay. 
Why is this one got so much? <laughs> Small Mantis Pig Trouble. A mass protest organized by leaf mantis have broken out in surrounding areas of Site 87. These insects, which are only active in autumn, Oh god, it's so much to read! My mouth hurts! Ugh. These insects are only active in autumn, abnormally gathered together to protest against the massive defoliate, defoliate plan proposed by Win Wisconsin gov government because this behavior will prevent them from appreciating autumn leaves. It's reported that the director of Site 87 has already requested local government to suspend defoliation activity. Oh my god. Why is there so much? A bill has been approved in Florida recently allowing its citizens to attack others with electronic devices. <laughs> what? The bill has caused many violent incidents to occur. Perpetrators have used electronic devices such as phones, laptops, and game consoles to attack passersby randomly. <laughs> Why does that sound like something that would happen in Florida? <laughs> I, I just can't imagine walking down the street and someone throwing, like, a console at you. <laughs> Now, this incident is confirmed to be influenced by SCP-1434. An MTF, a MTF was sent by Site-279 to contain it. It is reported that the series of incidents has resulted in an economic loss of $6.72 million. Damn, that's a lot. And 68 citizens injured. Many perpetrators have announced their bankrupt due to this incident. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm ready for a new job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh god, you got me. Oh god. Don't don't send me to Florida. <laughs> I don't want to get a laptop thrown at me. <laughs> Review the archives and or and organize. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy Rick and Morty. Oh, entered data regarding the inst uh, the investigation reports into the archive system on the right. Method of operation: click text with red underline. Oh. After clicking, after clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release data. Uh, data will be uploaded automatically. After entering all data into the archive system, click submit to complete task. I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. Huh? Are you gonna... Okay. What am I doing now? Oh, well, we got the black box. Wait, so now am I playing? Oh, so now I'm playing this chick. 
whoa, this game has got a lot. <laughs> this game's a lot. Yeah, but what? I'm awake. Bro, I just got in here. You're already drugging me. That's messed up. Going loopy. Uh, ah. Ella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My, my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll take it slowly. Step by step. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. Dude, what's with that swirling sound? Let's get into me! <laughs> Jesus! Ah! Ooh, that whirling effect is oh, aggravating my brain. <laughs> here and kick some SCP butt. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. I gotta turn motion blur off. I never turned motion blur off. To hi. No. Off. Off. Why can't I turn it off? <laughs> Vertical sink? Oh, that's, that's better. Phew, motion blur is annoying. I'm able to observe the mission site from here, but it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies, but recently it's also taken over SCP-701. This way. Got it. I'll complete the task as instructed and retrieve the black box. Oh, hi, dear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nothing special here. And there was no point in me going that way. Man. Lame. There's nothing there for me to collect. A device capable of measuring the humes of an area and calculate the reality bending rate in real time. 
A device capable of stabilizing the humans of surrounding areas is one of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area. 60 milliliter per injection inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. Polaroid photo of a black cube. This is the objective of this mission. Collections one of three. It's more like I crawl when I do that, but okay. Anything over here? Does she know? Oh, we're going in. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. Jesus. What's that? Bald Eagle. You're cutting out. Damn. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. Why is there a playroom? Now let's find that out. Why is there a play? Oh, wait, that's not a playroom. My bad. I'm dumb. That looks like a playroom. Looks like a McDonald's playroom. Also, why is the pipe set like that anyways? <laughs> like, it looks like it's clipping through that. That would be bad. Oh, God. What was that? Hold on. Ooh. All right, I used the bathroom. I'll be back later. Uh, close. Ohio issue 25 cents. <laughs> What? That's a lot of reading. I don't know what if I, I don't know if I want to read that. <sighs> okay. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. SCP Couldn't it, how could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? Okay, that's kind of screwed. What could he have planned? Does he not realize what he is up against? This whole thing is turning out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was all wrong. SCP-701 holds great potential. I still believe that. Bro changed up real quick. <laughs> I still believe that I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct. It all begins tomorrow. A key 101 needed. I'll take that trophy. Come on. Fine. Uh, due to regulations, all personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining to the access of classified files. All personnel on duty shall fill in the inspection form truthfully and correctly if a situation that cannot be handled independently should arise. Personnel must immediately report the incident. Spare key to room 101 placed under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. If used, please place it back in its original location. Oh god! Hi! I hate you. I hate you a lot. You can fuck off. You know what? If I could punch you, I would. The visitor's lobby. Where's the visitor's lobby? It's definitely not this one. Can I take the coffee mug? Something comes at me, I can just whack over the top of the head. The coffee mug. Storage room. Oh, come on. It's not there. Play. All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors at the whole site is theirs. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where. They've taken over my lab to record on me. And Dr. Cooper, whatever his name is, in particular, he puts on airs every. 
every time the operation starts, as if everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. Sounds like Bro needs to chill. Oh, there it is. Hey, kill. You need to lightning strike me. I feel like these should be closed. Oh my god, all those pipes. <gasps> How do I get that one thing out? I don't know. Alright, give me the key back. Give me the key back. I will put it back. Those were the rules. Alright, fine. If I get in trouble, it's... Why did it do that? No, keep the... You keep the flashlight on, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, why is there paperwork falling? What's with the banging sounds? Come on. Stop it. Oh. Who's there? Ain't nobody here. I I'm gonna need that fire extinguisher. <laughs> if I see anything, I'm spraying. <laughs> oh, good God. Don't you don't you blow steam? Ew, rats! Ew, nasty, nasty. Can I get in here? Nope. Don't you move! I swear to God, you move, we're gonna have issues. Don't. I swear to God, sir, be a good mannequin. Don't you do it. He moved. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Why is he gone? <laughs> Fuck. He's going to come around the corner on me. Watch. Watch. He, he's coming up. I guarantee it. Oh, dear God. Why? Are can I, can I zoom in? Why, why, why are there two mannequins sitting there? Why? 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 I, I want to know why. Game, I swear to God, if I vote over this and those two fuckers come running at me, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad, mad. Don't you do it. I swear to God. Who's this? Supplied for Friendy's department store purchaser, Abraham Hydropower Plant. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That that's that just feels like such a weird name to put. <sighs> I swear to God, man. I swear to God. I honestly don't know how I feel about that. Oh, wrong button. Was there no reason for me to come back here? Just for that? Was it legitimately just for that piece of paper? 
I swear to God. I swear to God, if this gate closes and those mannequins come at me, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be. Ooh, ooh. Don't you do it. You stay over there. You stay over there, sirs. Okay, they're still there. This must be the elevator. To the second floor, then. Well, wait a minute. They might have some secrets going on in here. What we offer? The king we serve? I serve my king with my blood? Blissful suffocation? I was going to read that, but okay. Oh, Okay, Jesus. Uh, oh, I gotta hold it. We'll get a drink real quick while she does this. I'm gonna have me some drink. Drink time for me. Alright, now oh, hi kitty cat. Bye kitty cat. Ow. Alright. Oh, they're doing it again. What me? Oh, hi. Why are you pointing? You better not touch that, I swear to God. Can I have that one? Why? 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 Mannequins don't move. What the? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just kind of froze me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you taking a piss? Hey, I'd like that. Thank you. Now I gotta read this. <laughs> Jesus. Duke Sorrentino, the, change, the chains of fate coil like a poisonous snake. It is not only me they seek to entangle, but also you, Gonzala. The curse before death is frightening indeed. Petrico? Petruco? Pet Rucasio? I don't know. Get this meddler out of my sight. Let dead men remain speechless. Petruchio extends 
<laughs> the news. Oh, oh, traitor usurper arg. Oh. Well, smooch. I can't get closer or else I'd give you a big old smooch. Alright, who's taking a poop? Alright. He went in here taking a poop? Nope. He went in here taking a poop. Hey, you're taking a poop? You got paper for me? <laughs> Isabella, if the lies of the monarchy were to be recorded in a book, the archivist would never know a moment's rest and would evidently become overburdened with fatigue. <sighs> so much to read. Made, be uh, made Beatrice, Empress, uh, Empress, Lord Antonio is here. Isabella, what is that you say, my strange son? Why would he come to see me in the... In the convent go get me my very best dress at once and prepare a glass of poisoned wine whoa it made beatrice as you say made beatrice leave isabel what sad truth the dice rolls with lies and bears my name and the martyr under his conspiracy shares my own flesh and blood you look up at me He didn't look up at me. I can't open it. I, I tried to let you out, sir, but I can't open it. I say, come on. Oh, how funny. When it is going to fall with me. So I better not be getting followed. Oh. Hey, what are you two doing? <laughs> Ow. My ankles. Sorry, I just research. Miss Irene Mabel, recently former assistant of Dyler, of Doc, uh, Dyler, yeah, his name's Dyler, Dr. Tyler Cooper, Miss Lisa Amanda, was demoted because of her refusal to carry out the experimental orders given by Dr. Cooper on the 16th of blank, blank I guess, she was injected with a class A amnesics and sent away from, the, from site to fill this role and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, site management has decided to promote you to the role of senior experimental assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held at 1330 hour, 1330 hours. Room 711, please come prepared from encrypted. I keep forgetting it's right click to close. You had another script for me, sir? Can't spook me if I open it from the side. Requires round handle. Oh boy. On December 19th, local time, a mass blank incident involving several students in the auditorium of... Oh, Jesus. It's so much reading. It's making me tired. <laughs> of Princester High School took place, the incident escalated into a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while blank, as all participants were in the process of blank. This triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths, 27 injuries. The cause of the incident is unknown at this time. Okay. Act 3. 
person. Ah, oh Jesus. And oh, oh God. You know I'm not reading all that. Oh. Act description. Gonzalo kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chief to make a stew from uh, from his body. The witness's daughter, Alinda, is in place in the convent. Antonio and his uh, Antonio and his squire enter the convent to confront the queen. She tries to kill Antonio, but he sees through her plan. She's left to suffer the consequences. Uh, Antonio and his squire evacuate the mon the monastery. They encounter the imprisoned. Fuck off. What you got? Act 2. To cover up the truth, Gonzalo orders the rest of the three men who witnessed the queen's confession and imprisons the queen in the convent. Gonzalo the inn goes to have a secret meeting with the ambassador Alagada. After learning the queen's captivity, Antonio begins to plot his revenge. Hi. No. What's up? Let's go see what's up. Oh. No mind, I can't reach it. Clever. Don't you shut this door on me. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, there's a safe. I need that. Press E to switch pictures. Uh huh. I didn't understand any of that. And they're gone. Why are they gone? Nothing comes to uh, say hi while I'm doing this. Don't come to say hi while I go up this ladder. and then I can read it. Okay. <laughs> At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project. <sighs> but after distributing some of SCP-701 documents to a few volunteers, they became widely cir uh, circulated and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's so rather curious how it happened and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it. But it's welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. Now, I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate. Every single person. It's my chance to prove myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Hello? I swear to God, if I come around the corner and there's a man in him. Oh. Yeah, nasty. Uh, Unlock the door. Oh, well, I'm assuming we're going up then.
Why would the seventh floor be down? Why? Game Kings tried today. Rehearsal notice. First group rehearsal. Oh boy. Time May 23rd. Okay. This is a lot. You real? You gonna do that to me? You gonna make me work the clocks? First group. Seven forty six. Second group. Eleven eleven. I get it. Wait, eleven eleven. Keep going. That's eleven eleven. Seven it was seven something. Seven forty six. Okay, I keep pressing the escape to escape, and the blue is just nine. Alrighty, you got me for a second. Their mouse just hit me in the back of the foot. Oh. Don't do that. Tight. Weightless. 
hanging. Nothing around me. Struggling, fighting, it will swallow me and make me its slave. Ella, you are completely safe here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay, let's continue. The situation there is much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. This is Sparrow, 09868, for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes. Of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. I... Of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No! I... but... I saw... What did you see, Bella? Tell us what you saw. Oh, boy. Oh, you broke it! Oh, God, am I running? Jesus. Ah, oh, he got me. I didn't get away in time. I was trying. Bella. There you go, Bella. SCP-071 scripts have been found. I have been out for a week now, and the participants have had a mi I have had minor rehearsals as described above. Once it continues to baffle me, they always seem to recite the wrong lines. Every single person is strange, almost like it's orchestrated. And when I try to correct them, they become defensive, insisting that they read the correct line. But other than that minor hiccup, everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the... To the First full rehearsal in room 705. The day after next, after the full rehearsal, all will better witness the potential of SCP-0, SCP-701. My name will become synonymous with it. Tyler Cooper, the genius behind the experiment who managed to tap its endless potential. This is history in the making. So which way is the right way? Looks like something bad happened. Oh, there's a thing to collect. You know, you know what? That's a lot of reading. I ain't reading that. <laughs> I ain't reading all that. So maybe I have to go that way and turn the electric on. So yeah, but I said that 27 did something.
Okay. Nothing? Hey, did you perhaps mess up the power? Did you? Did y'all mess up the power? How do I fix the power? Because I clearly need electricity to get through. Unless this just comes open. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Alright, let's run back and have a quick look again. Oh, maybe it's just here. Well. Am I supposed to turn the power on or something? Electricity needed. Electricity needed. So how do I get it to turn on? Okay. I can't do anything with that. Can't do anything there. It was right there the entire time. Oh, those are gone now. Thank you. Hi down there. How's it going? Are uh, you okay? You just fell apart. Okay. That's the last one we have. Are you all just gonna fall down? Yep. Are you getting back up? They are. Ah, oh, this feels nice in here. 
At the banquet, Antonio bursts in and confirms Gonzalez's murderous crime, murderous crime as well as his own, li <sighs> his own lineage. Gonzalo is deposed by an angry group of ministers. Instead of killing Gonzalo, Antonio exiles him to the couldn't uh, convent Antonio then orders his squire to plan his wedding with Elinida and the play ends with a dance by the group of courtiers okay I feel like I'm gonna need that oh that give me that <laughs> someone's credit card bro we were giving credit cards Oh boy. This is a horrible idea. They're pointing. The black box. Why is the black box here? Why are we going downstairs? I'm gliding here. <laughs> oh my god! He fell! He didn't fall that far, actually. Sir. Sir, you're over dramatic. You didn't fall that far. I don't know, maybe that would hurt if you belly flopped. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> don't. Bro, put it back in the bo put it back in the bag. Put it back in the bag. Bella, we really need you to tell us the truth here. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella. There was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. <laughs> That's impossible. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? Bella. Man, this really did a number on her. I feel bad. Seven oh five testing laboratory.
Aha. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you can go through the chairs? I know you can go through the chairs! Oh my god, he can run. Oh, yeah, that way. Fuck you. Haha. <laughs> <Abba. laughs> Playing SCP. <laughs> I want you to do Warframe, but, uh, how does that not do? I was like, ah, this, is, this looks more fun. Everything's just falling apart. <laughs> how does work? <laughs> I think you started work again today, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. No. 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 I'm gonna run right past it. Why are you staring at me like that? Back off. I can't look down and see that. Kick his butt. I see you. <laughs> Why are you not running? I'd be running. Oh boy, why are their heads tilting? With my 
blood. I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Don't do it. Don't do it. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Don't do it. Don't do it. I serve my king. Don't, don't, don't. Bad idea. Don't do it. With my blood. Don't do it. Oh, he did it. Oh, you did it. Oh. Where'd we get that? Where'd we get that? Oh, and then you passed out. The condition is unstable. I've just injected it with a sedative. Thanks, doctor. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? The black box is merely a vehicle for reporting the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now a black box. You got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. Uh oh, that's not a good thing. That's not a, that's not a good thing at all. The black box has been properly contained at site 105 and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. <laughs> I forgot how to do this. Okay, with the red underline, after clicking the data, dragging. After clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Calm down, sir. Okay. How about both? That sounds even better. I'll we'll have tacos and donuts. Or even better, donut tacos. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, to celebrate the completion of my first ever archive mission, my colleagues threw a small party. It all started to grow. I all started to grow on me. My colleagues in this place started to really enjoy all of it. Maybe it was all the drinking. I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled of decay. And in the depths of the darkness, I saw at all times two red dots monitoring my every move. What a strange dream. Tequila is too strong of a drink. I need an espresso to sober me up. 
All right, we're gonna have an espresso. Oh boy, what am I looking at now? <laughs> okay. Anything else? Nice. Let me just uh, set this over here. Man, this job is easy. Well, they're going at it. Oh boy, monthly lecture. <laughs> what a name! You know what? We'll join this con this conference. Then after I get through this conference thing, I'll probably call it for the night. Oh. There are many stories in this world. Well, some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real oh boy. Mystery. Oh boy. Yeah, let me get all just snuggy real quick. <laughs> Let's get snuggy, guys. <laughs> in a world of long ago the hero of our story is a little boy his name is Daniel Tell oh boy let's go Daniel <laughs> one day out of nowhere Daniel got a serious <laughs> this is such a mind fuck <laughs> it look like a strawberry to make sure he didn't spread it to others Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. D Damn. Daniel. That's gotta suck. Here in this attic, you'll have plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. I hope you practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. But Mrs. Page, the melody is so difficult. This went from a psychological horror to a child story, and I'm concerned. <laughs> like, oh boy. Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page. And he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. 
Oh boy. Oh no! You're making me do it? Hold up! Don't. Don't you dare. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Why is F on here? That. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. God, what am I doing? Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Daniel decided to go over and take a look. <laughs> I'm so concerned. So concerning. Oh, I'm moving now. Bro, what? It was a mouse trap, and there was a red origami paper dragon inside of it. <laughs> Carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its frame was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. This is concerning me. What? What? Mm -mm. Oh my god. I thought I was about to staple a paper dragon. <laughs> high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the world below. Like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this has gone he crazy. The paper dragon. <laughs> this is a psychological horror game, right? Afternoon sun, Daniel had to fight his eyelids just to keep them open. Oh boy, oh. don't do it. Is it. Could it be? Or is this all just a dream? This is insane, is what it is. The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Oh, there we go. Earthquakes are not particularly common. Although there are 17 fault zones around us, they are all inactive. Jesus, that's a lot of fault zones. <laughs> I'm scared. Why?
Come back here. What? No, no, get back here. Ah, you can't forget me. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball, suddenly terrible sparks erupted from it. Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. Oh boy. At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. <laughs> I wasn't dreaming. I thought that was about to go south. Daniel was grateful and very happy. I thought that was about to go really south. The paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. Just then, Daniel had an idea. Oh God, you're gonna make me play that thing again? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm bad at this. I... Okay, so it's A, the, it's A, S, D. A S D A S D F I fed it up. <laughs> I did it again. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm awful at that. I enjoyed the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up. I missed like five times. I don't know how I enjoyed any of that. Playing and dancing, just like old friends. Paper Dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air, communicating with Daniel in a unique way. Oh. Why did it turn into paper? I'm concerned. My cherished friend. Jesus. Many long years, we finally meet Bruh. Why? Why is its voice so deep? The beautiful rhythm of that why? Why is the dragon sound like awful? Precautions, as the room is not stable. Do you still remember how the room works? You are welcome to visit any time. Huh? The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. I'm concerned. You better not have me open that and box. He rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Oh no. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. My cat's name is Mrs. Carter. Jesus. Ever since I secretly fed her some fish for dinner, we've been good friends. That's Duke. <laughs> of course, he's in the middle of peeing on the trees. <laughs> I'm so concerned on where this is gonna go. This is an SCP game. What's your name? 
the paper dragon flapped its wings, as if it didn't understand him. Hmm. Well, since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, why don't I just call you Penny? I'll keep practicing to make you sound better. No. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the attic. Let's play cat. Oh god. Oh, what? Oh, this is so concerning. Wow. <laughs> I'm concerned. But just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. Dear Jesus. Oh boy. This moment, the box suddenly shot open. Uh oh. Thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Oh boy. Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle day in and day out. Well. Don't have me play it, please. As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. Don't you dare make me pun. One day, the box suddenly began to move. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. This time there were four paper dragons. Wow. They weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box, too. Oh, boy. Earthquake! Another earthquake! This time it's reached a magnitude of 9.8! Oh, boy. In that small attic, the four paper dragons fought fiercely against the paper balls. This time, the paper balls used new tactics. They clumped together into a single monstrous ball of paper. Oh boy. It began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. Jesus. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. Seeing the injured paper dragons, Daniel felt very distressed and anxious. Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fly and gathered the remainder of its power. Oh boy. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and dove straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. Well. The monstrous paper ball was blasted to bits. Exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper, and a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor. Badly wounded. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Oh boy, are you gonna make me rush and do that? You are. If 
There we go. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. Oh boy. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two colored threads, they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. I'm so concerned on where this can go. The dragons moved like a tide. I'm so concerned. Please don't do it. Daniel eagerly took out his penny whistle. He showed all his paper dragon friends the results of his hard work and practice. Oh no! I'm bad at this. Yeah. I didn't I did it too early. What? Oh boy. It's so loud! My ears! Please say that's it. No, why is there more? Come on. Come on, that's gotta be it. Come on. Come on, this is the last one, right? Two, two, two! <laughs> two thousand two hundred and twenty! That it? Oh, yes, the god. In the sweet melody of his playing. Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Bo got kidnapped by a box of dragons. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh oh. Uh oh. The paper dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. Oh boy. <laughs> After the last war. Jesus. What a way to start a note. Start a letter, I mean. into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. Dawn, eons. Two days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But I'm so the concerned. paper dragons never returned. I'm so concerned. <laughs> Oh God. Oh boy. 
Please don't. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. Uh oh. Then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning uh -oh. and falling through the air in confusion. What's happening? Daniel quickly grabbed the stickers out from his bag and did his best to heal the injured paper dragons. Oh boy, you're gonna make me do this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, save them all! Save them all! Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Back up. Get back up! <laughs> you will all war to fight! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Why did this take such a turn? But the paper balls swarmed together and pushed Daniel away, subduing him firmly in the corner. He couldn't move. Uh oh. Suddenly, ominous clouds rose from the box, and a violent lightning flashed through the room. The figure of a giant slowly emerged from the thick clouds. Higher attic became overwhelmed with its evil aura. The earthquake is going stronger. Now with a magnitude of 7.1. Have it almighty. Are we doomed? Oh boy. The giant unleashed its power maniacally. The big dragon struggled against it with no means of fighting back. Oh boy. At this critical moment. Two paper dragons shined brilliantly. Together, they heroically crashed their bodies into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated by the paper dragons. But soon, he found that things would probably not be so simple. I love how this went from like SCP to child story. This is kind of goofy, but funny. Of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. It fought back with a new ferocity. The paper dragons were simply no match for it. Oh boy. Dragons now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers, as if this whole oh. crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left Daniel and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. Oh boy. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red beam and rushed fast towards the giant. The other dragons followed. Shining together like a shooting star. Oh boy. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon flying. No! Oh boy. Well. A huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper. Oh boy. Over scraps 
of the Paper Dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. Oh no! Hard, <laughs> you can't do that. Oh boy. Can I grab all of them? Oh. Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your protection. Well, a few days later, the art festival was held as scheduled. Daniel attended the show with his penny whistle. No, no, no. No, you, I swear to God. Oh God, no, no, don't, I'm bad at these, please, don't you do it, don't you do it, God, all right, walk in. I missed. I... Mm. Jesus. Oh my god, this is so hard to do and it's so loud. Okay, that's so loud. I gotta take one headphone off so I can hear. So I can hear myself think and do this. Okay, I ain't gonna do it anymore. That all? <laughs> oh, I did not expect that to go that way. Oh my god, the music is so loud I can't hear this person talk. Jesus. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well. 
<laughs> call him out on it. <laughs> call him out on it. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Man's really on point with that. I've been here for a month now, and I am now entirely adjusted to the job, though the content of my work is to simply process archive files. It is work that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really rather fascinating. I've been having hallucinations lately. Uh-oh. I feel like someone is calling me, a, l a voice low and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I cannot understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was the typical rookie syndrome and would clear up in a, fur in a few days. I certainly hope that is the case. Care way to save. <laughs> Did I do all the? I, I think I read all this. Yeah. Oh, there are other areas. How many are there? Oh my god. Files. Done. Oh boy. No tasks. Nice. Is there a way to save? <laughs> How do I save? It won't let me out. Uh oh. Oh boy. Is there a way to save? Ah, so loud. Jesus. Uh, why'd you scream in my ear? Hell, I might just play through the whole thing tonight. Tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? D-6744, according to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment, you must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. Oh, Jesus. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. I'm a real fan of these formalities. Everything's gotta be right by the book. Oh, Jesus. Mike Donald, consciousness intrusion expert, former leader of MTF UP2, codename Spider. Now, level D personnel, number 6744. 
Enough of these damn formalities. What the hell do you want me to do? Jesus. Do you know about the witch plan? I've heard the name, that's all. The plan is under the direct command of O5. Every last detail of the plan is protected by the strictest confidential terms. So what? D6744. What you're about to witness is top secret information of the foundation. Oh. What the hell is going on? A few hours ago, something went wrong with the witch plan experiment. The energy of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control and has begun diffusing outward, disintegrating... Oh boy. You guys seriously never cease to amaze me. SCP-239 is now a ticking time bomb. She could go off at any moment. D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. The neural key is fully charged and ready to enter the target consciousness space. Begin the program. Consciousness oh, begins to link. Start the wait, 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 I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Hi. Stop it. I want to blow the doors. That one just went really fast. I would have still got on that. Can you hear me? Son of a bitch. Fuck you. The situation is urgent. Whoa. Bo chill. It ain't that serious. Uh, hello there? Oh. Uh, hey, wait. Hi. 6744. What did you see? A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. What else have you discovered? The girl's consciousness is severely damaged. That probably explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? I'll have to enter her pre-conscious. If there's a solution to this, it's gonna be in there. Good. D6744. You really are the right person for this mission. D6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. <laughs> Sir, I don't know about that. But... Sounds good. I'm calling it there. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That last part, before we got here, messed with my brain. I was so worried for the child. I was like, oh no, it's an SCP game. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Anyways, I'll probably see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. So, have a good morning, evening. Or night, wherever you are. And I'll probably see you in the next one. Have a lovely time.